the big news about the State University of New York is that we are deeply engaged in a very comprehensive strategic planning process and that that process is riveted on the economic revitalization of the state of New York. Telling the state of New York that we're all about the revitalization of the state of New York is, is a, a way of saying that if SUNY as an economic engine can do that for New York, the revenues will grow and the ability of the state to invest in SUNY will increase. In fact, to invest in a lot of things that matter to a state like New York. And therefore, the way to view the budget process is twofold. One, we're very cognizant of the financial dilemma that New York finds itself in, and therefore we hope that the legislature will do the best it can to restore some of our cuts. I feel obliged to say that to you. But secondarily, we have pending probably the most comprehensive and transformative legislation that has ever been introduced for the State University of New York called the Public Higher Education Empowerment and Innovation Act. We met with very key groups. We met with the Democrat, Upstate Democratic Caucus. We met with the leadership of the Senate House, uh, excuse me, the Senate Higher Education Committee. Uh, that would be Senator Stavisky. Uh, we met with the uh, chairperson of the Assembly, Higher Education Committee, that will be Assembly Member Deborah Glick. And what was absolutely fascinating is that we had almost all of the SUNY presidents in the room. So before the meeting ever started, we did a round robin, tell us who you are, and the sheer magnitude of the number of SUNY campuses sitting around a table in a big conference room in the Capitol building spoke mountains about the comprehensive nature of SUNY and the diversity of SUNY because we had community colleges in UAlbany, your president was there, uh, technical schools and uh, comprehensive colleges. And so we're working the agenda at a, at a level of dialogue. So I think actually we had good listening and that I thought was very promising.